Hello, and today what I'm going to talk about is how to understand Microsoft Excel a little bit better. So let's talk about Excel. Microsoft Excel is a very simple program but it has a lot of complexity to it. So what we need to do is basically understand how does Excel expect us to talk to it in order to make sense of the whole thing. And the most basic uh, concept I think a lot of people miss when writing formulas and getting Excel to do its, the, you know, the math for them is if you want to get this to work properly, what you need to do is understand something that goes back to high school and we probably all don't remember it but we need to. It's called PEMDAS. And if you've done any kind of math recently, you'll remember that this is called the order of operations. So the order of operations simply says that, you know, when we look at these things, we're going to, if you remember this back from high school, it's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And basically what we have to remember is that there's a line that comes down in between these right here and that first we want to do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication, then division, then addition, and then subtraction. And that's how we keep these things in order. Now, the, order, the rule of the order of operations actually means that as long as we stay within this little bracket here, we can do parentheses or exponents first. Uh, we can do either thing in here, and multiplication and division doesn't matter which one we do first as long as we do them before we do the addition and subtraction. So we also need to follow the left to right method here, meaning that we go from the left side to the right side, just keeping in mind that we can actually mix these sections up also. So if we had a problem, and I'm going to do something basic that I'm just going to make up in my head here real quick. 4 plus 3 times 2 um, plus 6 minus 4 squared equals. If we were to do this, you know, someone that maybe isn't familiar with the order of operations would probably go through and do 4 plus 3 equals 7 times that by 2 we get 14 then we do a plus and the person might get this together it would be 2 squared which would be 4 and so you know we'd come up with whatever that is 21 whatever that number is uh, well 18 but that's not the right way to do this problem because what we actually have to do is we have to go through and we want to work left to right according to the order of operations. So that's really important. We want to go left to right according to the order of operations. So the first thing we would do is we definitely look at the parentheses and exponents and we can either do we can do it either way. I like to solve for the parentheses first so combining these two together we'll have a 2. We know that 2 squared is 2 times 2 which equals 4. So we could rewrite this entire equation as 4 plus 3 times 2 plus 4 equals, and we're going to have our variable in here of x, because we don't know what it is, and now we'd want to go back through the order of operations and work right to left, and so we come back through, see if there's anything that, hits, that we hit, and it's this 3 times 2, so we'd want to solve for that one first, 6, if we had something else down here that was a multiplication, we'd want to do that one also, so we're left with 4 plus 6 plus 4 equals x, and then we just solve for the pluses, which would be 14. So x equals 14. Now what we need to remember about Microsoft Excel is that it works strictly from the order of operations. So when we write a formula, we can't just write something as we think of it in our head like 4 plus 3 times 2, blah, 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 you know, just coming up with it. We need to make sure that we incorporate the order of operations because this is how Excel, since it's a computer, it can't decide what we want to do. It has to follow logic. So Excel is the most logical program on the planet, theoretically. <laughs> Not that any other program can't be logical. But as we write our formulas, we have to write the formulas including the thought process of the order of operations because if we don't, Excel will probably not get what we're, we think it should. So just keep that in mind as you're using Excel and you start to write formulas you definitely want to write according to the order of operations. So if I wanted for instance this 4 plus 3 to be added before it was multiplied by 2 I would need to put parentheses around it in my formula and that would allow Excel to know oh I'm supposed to get 7 then multiply that by 2 and then add this little section over here. Hopefully this explains that and I'll talk to you later.